Hey, what's up, everybody? Noah from Phone Dog here for Gadget Dog, and uh, this one I'm indulging in a little bit. It's it's news, it's gadget news, but personally, I'm excited about this. Got the new copy of uh, iLife 09 from Apple, and uh, we're gonna take a look at 09. We're gonna, you know, not much of an unboxing, but unbox it, install it, see what the deal is. Um, iLife is Apple's uh, media software. You get iMovie iPhoto, GarageBand, and iWeb, uh, $79, $99 for a family pack, and, um, you know, it's Mac only, so, uh, you know, it's not going not gonna to be of interest to a lot of folks out there who are Windows users, but for me, I actually use iMovie on a, on a daily basis for my work, uh, all the videos, this video, all the videos that you see or are edited in iMovie. Uh, I have used Apple's Pro line of um, of video editing software, Final Cut uh, Express, Final Cut Pro. Great, great software, but a little more power than what I need for my uh, you know my videos here for Phone Dog and Gadget Dog. Um, so iMovie does the trick, but there are things. How do you open this box? What in the world? I mean, does it just this is, like, am I missing something here? This box is insane. It, I would think it just slides out, right? Maybe it's just stuck. Maybe I'm a big idiot. Box open because I can't get it to open up any other way. Oh, well. Yeah, it was supposed to have just slid out, but it didn't for me. I don't know. There you go. California in the house. We'd like to see that. Let's get a little more light here if we can. Anyway, um, I use, uh, you know, like I said, the uh, iDVD, or uh, Final Cut is a little more than I need, a little more complex than I need for my daily video editing tasks. But um, but the current versions of iMovie definitely leave a little something to be desired. I should say the previous versions. Uh, iMovie 08, really, they Apple changed the user interface and everything. And a lot of people are upset with it. I actually don't mind the user interface. I like the more graphical look as compared to the old iMovie HD, iMovie 2006. But uh, some things that I, I really wish that iMovie 08 could have done, particularly doing uh, B-roll video with your audio, you know, staying the same underneath and that kind of stuff. Um, and it looks like from what I saw at Macworld at the demos that the new iMovie, iMovie 09, uh, oh, am I running iMovie still? Oh, yeah, look at that. The videos I was doing last night. There's iMovie, there's the old iMovie. Anyway, uh, from what I saw in Macworld uh, of the demos, iMovie 09 uh, takes care of some of the stuff that I was missing from iMovie 08, and it also adds a lot of cool features, green screening, picture-in-picture, -picture, some other stuff that I'm pretty psyched about, things that I actually would like to be using in my work. So this is actually... Um, a professional investment for me for once. The other years I would just buy the new iLife because, you know, because it was cool. It's installing, it's installing QuickTime 7, and then it's going to install the actual software. It's going to be a while. So we'll be back. I will be back with my first hands on look at the brand spanking new iLife 09. I'm Noah from Gadget Dog and Phone Dog, and this is my now destroyed box that uh, iLife 09 came, on, came in. There you go. Apple, work on the packaging. Or I gotta work on my dexterity. I don't know. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so uh, it's all installed now. Started to play with it. And what we're gonna do here is I'm recording this to use later uh, to try out the new picture in picture feature in iMovie 09. So uh, if you have iMovie 09, you want to go up to the iMovie Preferences and turn on the Advanced Tools. This isn't going to be a tutorial, but just to let you know, that's where some of the goodies like green screening, picture-in-picture, -picture, stuff like that are found. I'm recording this just using the built-in iSight camera on my MacBook. It's a previous generation MacBook I have here in the home office. At the Phone Dog Studios, we've got a MacBook Pro, so I'll be uh, installing iMovie on that. Again, the, the family pack for 99 bucks gives you five licenses, I believe, so you can install on multiple computers. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's we're gonna try out. Uh, so I, I did some screen capture using uh, whatever it's called, Snaps Pro, not an Apple 
product, but a, a third party thing. So the screen captures to show you some of the interface here. And you can see, you know, it looks uh, largely the same as iMovie 08, but lots of little hidden things, uh, little contextual menus on the different clips so you can kind of more easily get to the clip adjustment, uh, video adjustment, that kind of stuff. There's a stabilization thing built in now, or a stabilization feature, I should say, that, uh, that uh, is meant to help correct shaky handycam video footage uh, in post-processing, so I'll be checking that out. The green screening I can't do now because I need to have an actual green backdrop to try that out, but believe me, uh, we're going to get one of those, and uh, hopefully we can have some fun. Maybe we can come up with a cool uh, phone dog, you know, virtual studio environment to try out. Um, do some fun stuff with that for sure. If you've got any ideas for that, definitely hit us up in the phonedog.com forums. Go to phonedog.com, go to the forums. Ideas, or if you happen to be, you know, a graphic artist, uh, we could definitely you know, take submissions or ideas for, uh, you know, virtual backdrops to use with the green screening, if I can get that working, which, uh, according to all the demos and everything, it works really well. So I'll go out and get a giant piece of chroma, chroma green cloth to hang in the, uh, in the phone dog studios. And, um, yeah, aside from that, I showed some of the new video transitions in the earlier part of the clip, uh, that you just saw some cool, you know, some cool stuff. And, um, Definitely uh, try out also the B-roll audio and do some stuff with uh, switching the picture and picture around and that kind of thing, just to kind of, you know, play with what the new iMovie can do. So uh, you can see, you know, at the risk of free advertising for Apple, uh, and it's not, Apple doesn't, you know, with the phones that we do and with some of the gadgets, we get product reviews from companies. We try to be straight up about that to tell you, you know, uh, or product samples, I should say, to review. The phones are all loaners. We don't keep them. Um, but Apple doesn't send free stuff out to, to us. So whenever we review an Apple product like the iPhone or an iPod Touch, we have to go buy it. iLife, like I said, I bought because I use it every day. And uh, so there you go. So if you want to see iLife 09 in action, uh, just keep watching, keep watching the videos because that's what I'm using to edit everything going forward until further notice. All right, so there you go. Kind of a first look at iMovie 09, which is part of the new iLife 09 suite. I'll be checking out... Um, the other iLife apps, a uh, lot of buzz around iPhoto with the new faces, face, re face recognition technology, and also places for uh, you know geotagging your photos and searching by geotagging, that kind of stuff. So uh, we will have much more on that as warranted. GarageBand, new lessons featured built in GarageBand, learn how to play guitar and piano from the pros. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll pick up that acoustic guitar. I'm a drummer, but I've never, never been any good at trying to play guitar. Maybe I'll take a lesson from Sting, see if I can uh, play Roxanne. I'll videotape that and put it up if I do it. Anyway, there you go. First look at iLife09 for Gadget Dog. I am Noah from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have much more. And don't forget, you know, in addition to uh, all the latest phone news, which is our bread and butter at PhoneDog.com, we're also doing some gadget stuff on Gadget Dog. So the coolest, the hottest new gadgets and consumer electronics. Uh, you know what? If it catches our interest, we'll write about it. We'll make a video, and you can catch it all on phonedog.com, and you can subscribe on YouTube, on iTunes, on Blip, uh, all those places. All right, till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. See you later.